Oh. It's pretty chilly this morning. It is. Got the donuts dough all mixed up. Hopefully I got the right amount of everything in it. But. Mmm. Oh my god. Is that friggin' delicious. Gotta show you my recipe. I carry it in my wallet all the time. <laughs> oh and, and look how, how abused it looks. But I have it with me all the time. Wow. Oh. Uh, I hope these are good. Well, if they're not, I'm sure the cook will hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's true. <laughs> We're gonna roll this out. Get ready. Have to flour the rolling pin. I like to save it because I check my fat with this donut hole. See if it's hot enough. I don't believe it's hot enough. Well, it's coming. That'll come to the top. It's getting there. Joey, I want you to try that. Might be really hot. Would you guys at home try that? Oh yeah. Pretty hot. Wow. How is that? It might be the best thing ever. Really? Oh yeah, that's getting hot. The river's some foggy. That's really hot. Cut that back a little bit. These are chubby little donuts. Yeah. <laughs> good looking. <laughs> they look good to me. Now over there I got some uh, cinnamon nutmeg sugar. You can roll them in that if you'd like. I guess we gotta try one of these to see if it's done on the inside. But. Usually, don't, uh, cooking donuts in lard makes the best, but lard will <laughs> clog up your arteries. You might not live long enough to eat a lot of donuts. <laughs> well, why don't we take those and sugar up one, Joey, and try it. See if it's done on the inside. Yeah. She's hot. Those look fantastic. They're too hot to, too they're, hot to handle. They're pretty warm. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty warm.
Where did you learn how to make these? Well, my mother used to make them. And I don't know. I, <clears throat> maybe I picked it up from that. I don't know. And how old is your mother now? She's 104. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I remember, was it four or five years ago when she was out mowing the lawn? Yeah, and jumped a, off the a, porch. <laughs> yeah, at a hundred. A hundred, yes. Yeah, so yeah four she years was a hundred. Yeah. And her yeah. neighbor was what ninety, mowing her lawn. Yeah. And they ran. Right. In, they they, well, they were in competition. Past. Yeah. Because the neighbor was, uh, let's see, she was ten years younger than my mother. Yeah. But she was a wicked worker, you know, physically working and and uh, she. She, her biggest thing was try to keep up with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you imagine having to keep up with a hundred-year-old uh, woman. You need another plate. I do. Let me get you one. Don't move. Some things are on a roll on you. I know they do. Those things are probably edible, huh? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Donut holes are great. They look pretty nice floating around in there, don't mm -hmm. they? Break one of those open, see if it's done on the inside. Okay. Is it? Yep, yeah. perfect. Oh wow, great. Wow. Wow. Any good? Terrible. Out to the yeah, cook garbage. some more. Cook some more. Keep practicing. We can throw them to the gobbies. That might be the best thing I've ever eaten. Really? Yeah, this is half a batch of... Those sports upriver would come down, give them a donut. Oh my gosh. They'd probably leave camp. If they knew what we had here. What do you say was in this sugar mix? I put uh, cinnamon and nutmeg in it. And sugar? Sugar. Yeah, it's good. What happens if it's too hot? Well, if it's not hot enough, it soaks grease into oh, okay. the donut. Gotcha. And if it's too hot, it cooks too fast on the outside, and the inside probably wouldn't get cooked. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, look how much better that one of yours is than that one. Huh. Just gotta stretch them out. What a treat. I'll have to I'll have to invest in a bigger donut cutter. Yeah. How, how do you think that one <laughs> that would That one'll look pretty huh? good. We'll we'll try it. Yeah. Just for the heck of it. Want me to stretch this one? <laughs> Yeah, instead of regular bacon powder, I had some Bakewell cream, yep. which is manufactured uh, in Maine. Oh, yeah? I think it was originated in Maine. Huh. But you have to, you have to uh, cut down on the amount and put baking soda in with it. Rather, apparently it's got some different ingredients in it. Blow apart. Oh. Donut holes like 
Whoa, look at those donuts. Because it's nice. Look at that one. We're not getting those in this cup. No. Might have to eat them plain. Yeah. Eh, we've eaten worse. We could sprinkle some on top if we need to. I'm gonna put a pinch on top of that. We'll run the we'll run the grinds again with a pinch on top. That's all she needs. That's all ready to go. Coffee and donuts, they go together pretty pretty, pretty good, don't they? Yeah. Great combination. Them some serious donuts there. Yeah. The the end of the run. That coffee is some strong. Is it? Yeah. Park too long, probably. Wow, that's good. Bacon and eggs on top of this. I don't even know if we'll need Home it. Home fries. I don't know if we'll need it. <laughs> I don't think we'll need it. What a treat for us. Thank you, Donnie. I think there's a couple missing. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's been into them. That raccoon's in the bushes right now licking his chops. Oh man, he can't wait till we go fishing. He thinks he's gonna get some of this. There we go. That's quite a stack you got there. Yeah. Yeah, that be, I mean, that made a lot of donuts. Yeah, there's two, four, Serious. eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. And you've eaten two, Come. right? That oh. looks like a winner right there. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Boy, can't beat it. No. We're selling Donnie's donut recipe uh. for $9.99. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't pay $9.99 for that recipe? Mmm. Mm. Moody's got nothing on you, Donnie. No. Oh. This is gonna be a good day on the river. I didn't want to get out of bed this morning because it was pretty chilly. Well, I pulled the old stump out of the river and we're going to clean it up some. So the the PV hook and this horseshoe on the bottom, they're not grown in. They're just kind of entangled in the roots. So we'll get rid of the mud. Well, that might be a piece of metal actually. Huh. There's a piece of metal in this clump, Donnie. Oh, really? Clean it up, see what it is. Looks like a... a uh, donut. A donut. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to cook it. I'm just kind of picking away at it here. The PV hook is in great shape. Oh my gosh, look at that. Looks brand new. Yeah, we'll put... Uh, these are probably brand new. Yeah. We will put that to use. We'll put that right on a PV. I can't believe I missed that other one. Well, I know where it is. We can go get it. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of that piece of root. This horseshoe should be loose, yeah. Nice shoe there. And then the rest of this is just mud, I think. Yeah. I'll take it back down to the river and soak it. And the, the show piece is right here, and that's grown right into that on both sides is that horseshoe that's pretty neat we got some frost this morning frosted uh, pretty good up on the seat you could still see a little bit left before the sun hits it and there's a little bit of frost left on the rain jacket there but we'll throw that up there let the river do its work you dropping pretty quick we lost another couple inches last night so the river dropped two inches on us. If you guys are watching at home, Charlie, this one's for you. You can see that thing drop two inches.
Man, look at your stick. Look at what? Your, uh, your stick. Wow, Donnie. Yeah. That dropped two, two inches more in the night. I think we'll be safe, though. Think so? Yeah, hope so. I mean, that, how much has that water fallen since we got here? Man. About 10 inches? 10 inches, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Charlie, if you're watching this, we put that stick in just for you so you'd see that that water dropped 10 inches. Yeah. I know you didn't believe us last year, but this is proof in the pudding right here. Yeah. That Mike has been screwing us for two years in a row on this river. Yep. I don't know when he's going to stop doing it, but he better stop next year. Yeah. You want a homemade donut? Okay, Jack. What'd he say? I made some this morning. I didn't get that. <laughs> They're turning in. I'll go get them. Good morning, gentlemen. You guys got the sun here. Yeah, yeah, we do have that. I'm just going to stay here for a few hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It was a little bit uh, cooler enough. last night. Yeah, it was pretty cool last night. Yeah. We had frost. Did you? Yeah. Oh, you did? On the canoe seats and in the canoe there was yeah, frost. We didn't. You know, the, the, uh, the... Whoa, what's that? Oh, Some wow. Some flies for you. No way. Yeah. For real? For real. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. So we're like, we gotta get you needed some more stream. Oh so. my gosh, thank you so much. Do you know what these are? No, no, but I'm excited to learn. You don't mind if I video, do you? No, not okay. at all. <laughs> so like some of this may not be appropriate. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I, I got the edit button. We we have to edit a lot out. Just the way I like it. <laughs> so these are these are variations of a golden retriever. Okay. Uh, that's a very here. That's a very popular fly. And We've done really well with the golden retriever. That one right there. Uh, they're, ah. weight, they're weighted at the, at the head, so they're a little harder to cast. You really have to be careful that they don't fall back and hit you in the back of the head. Yeah. These are all tangled up. Yeah. That's another. This, this, wow, that's great. This one's the, uh, well, uh, the nice name Whoa. is called the Montreal Floozy, but... Traditional name. Traditional name is the Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you I saw that at Indian Hill, the name. Yeah, yeah. They were out of them. that one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. That's a wood special. Wood special. Oh, that's a... That's one of my... What a beauty. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Holy cow. And Sam will eat that one too? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Especially the orange body. He's really yeah. good. Uh, um, what else do we have here, John? Do you tie these? I tied, I tied the Montreal. Yeah. I tied this one, which is... Uh, it's Whoa. a variant of, you know, That's pretty black ghost. Yeah, yeah. Um, and those are actually tied on antique hooks and everything too. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Is that another so, variation of black black ghost? Uh, with the red tail, I don't remember. I think that's one you tied, Probably. Bob. Yeah. Um, I think I tied this one. This is another Montreal. Yeah, that's a awesome. Bigger one. Oh, this is from Bob. This is a uh, a fat. A fat. <laughs> I, like, I like that one. Yeah. I like the looks of that one. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. And that's been a good size. Yeah. The past couple days. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a uh, this is another golden retriever. Just a slight variant in color. Yeah. In yeah. color. Yeah. Yeah. And is that another fat? That's another yeah, fat. That's Whatever. another fat. That one's an experienced fat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys. We can't yeah, thank you enough. And you can see how the marabou, you know, it's it, yeah. it's fluffy here. It's all fluffy, yeah. but but it will look like that in the water. That's yeah, amazing. It just fills it, it right pulsates in. Pulsates back and forth. Yeah. yeah. So, so. Wow. Thank you guys. We'll put those so, to use for years to come. Well, yeah. Well, no, put them to use now so you at least have oh, supper yeah, tonight. Oh, yeah, we will. You said you got <laughs> oh, yeah, fish on the menu. <laughs> He's got fish on the menu. We're eating chub if we have to. You like the donut? Yeah, it wouldn't mind. And then we might end up down at the uh, oh, the perch hole. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's plenty we more. We need something to wash it down. Yeah, we got hot coffee going, too. Well, if so you, get, the you want some hot coffee? At 30 degrees, it was uh, yeah, time for a hot coffee. Yeah. <laughs> there's plenty more, fellas. Dig in. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm you good. sure? I, want one for the ride? No, All right, it. I'll take a donut ball yeah. for the ride. Oh, yeah, the donut balls go down pretty quick. <laughs> what what you'll have to do hand with all these jump. if we didn't stop by? <laughs> you, you know, or a donut. Take whatever. If I have any more, 
this engine is too far back. When I run my big engine yeah. right on the transom, I can lean back, put my head back, I'll be out cold. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to go see what we can find. We might end up seeing you down river. Or how far are we going today? Yeah, we'll just go down Big Island. Okay. Do you have a sinking line? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not hardcore fly fishing. No, I don't. I don't know. This is what I got. Those. Uh, um, it floats. I think. Yeah, I got it's probably a sinking. floating line. Those, yeah. those golden retrievers will sink because they're weighted. Okay. On their own. I'll but throw just, one of those golden just retrievers. Just watch the back of your head. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, already got I, had, I got a fly up. stuck in one of my shirts. <laughs> oh, Donnie, you watch your head. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> right. I make sure he casts out in front of him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Good luck. Yeah. Well, what do you think, Donnie? Should we go catch a fish? I suppose we ought to try. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it'd be a good idea. Since we call this a fishing trip. Well, we might just call it a camping trip after yeah. all. Well, that was pretty awesome seeing those guys and sharing some stories and listening to some stories. And they gave us a whole bunch of hand-tied uh, salmon flies to add, the, add to the arsenal and some ones that have been working for them. Fishing and hunting and trapping is like the coolest thing. And I'm from the coastal down east area of Maine where there's... There's a lot of lobstermen, a lot of clam diggers, worm diggers, and it's a competitive kind of nature down there where everybody's everybody's in the same boat, but they're competing. So it kind of transfers over into hunting and fishing and other outdoor sports where guys aren't quite as friendly to each other as they should be. And at the end of the day, when it comes down to voting or keeping keeping things open to fishermen and outdoorsmen or conservation. Those are the only friends you have right there. No one else is gonna help for you or battle for you when you're not there other than guys like that. So when you run into other people on the water, on the ice, hunting in the woods or even trapping, it's a lot better to have friends than enemies. So, you know, it's, you can see it's my nature and Donnie's nature to make as many friends as you can and, and learn from everybody as you can, so. That's a prime example there, some great guys, and uh, they're having a blast. And we, we wouldn't care if they caught every single salmon in this river. We'd be happy for them, and hopefully they do. Hopefully they catch a big one, whereas, you know, when you're younger, or if you're around a different group of people that, that can't differentiate between the competitive nature of the shore, you know, it's, uh, we want to see people do well, and it's a good thing for all sportsmen to see people do well, especially, especially in this sport because we're losing a lot of, a lot of people every year, you know, and it's we're not getting any younger, so we got to get more people into it and and uh, be a lot friendlier. Just my two cents on it. Wouldn't you agree, Donnie? I would agree with anything you say. <laughs> <laughs> I said old people shouldn't be cow here camping. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> you may have to lug them out of here. No, I was. <laughs> I was telling the folks at home about how it's way better to make friends than enemies, especially right. in the oh, outdoors. Oh, and definitely. Yeah. In the outdoors, especially nowadays where yeah. there's less and less people getting into it. And yeah, it's good, uh, good to communicate and get different ideas and flies. And oh, yeah. I mean, those guys, are, you know, have been fly fishing for a long time. Yeah. You know, I've... I've been here a long time, but, <laughs> but uh, not fly fishing so much. You yeah. know, once a year, I'd pick up a fly rod. Yeah. So, you, you know, you kind of have to constantly work at it to get good at it. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, I'm satisfied with the way I fish. And, yeah. and uh, I, I just enjoy being in the outdoors and the camping experience. And Some years and we that. slay them, some years we don't. Yeah. Right. But that's, we're going to have fun no matter what. That's what why they call it fishing. Yeah, we're not going to let the fish decide if we have fun or not. <laughs> right, that's right, right. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't know. What do you think? We ought to head down river? Uh, we ought to do something, even if it's wrong. Yeah, let's try it. All right. Okay. <laughs> you got him? No, no. He come off? <laughs> I'm surprised the fly is, the fly is as big as a fish. Really? Oh, it's pretty funny. Let's take a peek. What'd you catch? Dinner? I got, I got a... Look at that. Big one? 
<laughs> Salmon? Can, can you see it? No, I can't see nothing. Oh, the, the fly is as big as the fish. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Got one, Donnie. All right. I don't know what it is. It's coming with it. It's coming pretty hard with it. He's heading downstream as fast as I can reel. Oh, wow, you still got him on? I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Is he chub or salmon or what are we looking at? Oh, salmon. The salmon, I think. Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Might even be a keeper. All right, we're on the board, Donnie. All right. This is a big old salmon. I watched that guy eat it, Donnie. He followed nice. it right up and ate it. This one's a round nose salmon. Yeah. He might not be landlocked. He's kind of kind of scaly. That's why they, they got the round nose if they're not landlocked salmon. <laughs> Pretty spot here. That's a winner. Let's see if there's a fish at the end of the line. Well, I just shot a grouse and Donnie got a ding back here. Was it your boot? Was it your boot? Oh, it could have been. Yeah, you got some, uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. There might be another partridge up here. I heard one flicker up ahead and got him just as he was going to fly. I hit him pretty good. Yeah. I tried to go high on him. Yeah. Hold on one sec. Yeah. Got him right here. Alright, we're eating tonight, Donnie. We got grouse and we got salmon. Not a very big one, but it'll eat good. Yeah. Nope. What were you saying? You look right here. Yeah. We're on the board. Sounds good to me. Give it Give it a try, or do you want me to carry it? No, no, you could tie it right up on my back. All right. If it gets to be too cumbersome or falls out, we'll just breast it and put it in our pocket. Hope we don't lose it. I'll feel it come off if you do. That's one way to carry out a partridge. We, <laughs> would, we wouldn't be doing this with a moose. I guess not. All right, let me... All tied up. Yeah. See how she looks. Look like it's going to stay? It looks, it looks good. All right, don't I'll, shoot me. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, don't shoot me. All right? Yeah. Oh, this. I, I think I see an insulator way over there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so if we follow this... We can find that old camp. See it? You want that insulator? That's something. Yep. That'd be power. Or... Yeah. Pretty, oh, well. co pretty cool ceramic insulator. That's a yeah. Well, that's a two-piece insulator. Yeah. Yep. I like the glass ones better than the ceramic ones, but. Those were for a different type of... So that means we're on the road, because they ran these on their roads. Yeah. So... So we're pretty handy to the road. If we see any old cedar trees, it's probably still going to be up in them. There was an old, um, like, halfway house woods camp out here somewhere. Donnie saw as a kid when it was broken down, and I just found the ins an insulator from the yeah. power or telegraph line, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, oh, they ran a line all the way down the river from Chisunkuk. Yeah, and this is how they ran the line. It went through that insulator. 
and it's a two piece so they could splice it anywhere and tighten it up whenever they needed to. That's pretty neat. But we're, so we're kind of, that tells us we're on the right direction. We're on the right part of the road. That's a big boy right there, Donnie. Wow, can you imagine? You couldn't even get that on a sawmill. No, that's a beast. And it stays big the whole way up. Wow. If it was straighter, that'd be a king's pine. Yeah. Yeah, that, look how big. Let me get so the sun isn't. I mean, it's. Yeah, it's over four foot across. Yeah. Anyways. Jeez, and that's a big boy. You got a little lean to it. That was here when they were here. Yeah, you're definitely right. Not much else here was, though. It looks like this whole area was cleared. Yeah, looks like it was cut. Yeah. Let's keep having fun. Another insulator. Well, it looks... Yeah, I think I found it. I got a metal dump over here. So I see a wash basin over there and then a bunch of cans and stuff right here. All these cans and some glass mixed in. That metal detector is going to be zinging. Donnie, I think I found it. That's a no return. No deposit, no return. Colt. Colt 45. There's a Colt bottle. Bunch of bottles. Bunch of beer cans. I'm guessing that's a Budweiser, I don't know. Not a bad find, huh? No, I mean, pretty just, neat. Just that we found this is quite a, quite a feat. I mean, that was way to heck and gone up in the middle of woods. Mm -hmm. Oh, great, super. Well, let's eat some cheese. Yeah, let's get bound up. Let me clean my knife off. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Clean it off. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Good and clean. Good and clean. Okay. So we brought yeah. some. We brought some cheddar all the way from Vermont. We're gonna sit right here and relax for a minute. And eat some cheese. We did find you did find the old dump. That was quite something. Yeah. Yeah, start with that. The first piece has got the most Flavor guts on in it. it. Yeah. Oh the uh, most fit in it. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good cheese. Mm-hmm. Like it? Yeah. Good. I know, it's kind of neat that they had more communication a hundred years ago than they do now. It seems so, yeah. I mean, you and I can't get a cell phone out of here. Or right. We'd have to use a satellite is the only communication we could get out of here, but... Yeah. A hundred years ago, there was a cable strung from where, Greenville maybe? Uh, I only remember... It came down through by Lobster, yep. down around Lobster, and down the West Branch, down, yep. followed the West Branch down through, and it went to Northeast Cary where there was a switchboard, and uh, they could, you know, direct the call where you wanted it to go, and I imagine, you know, the old call boxes with a mm -hmm. crank handle. So if you wanted to call to Suncook Village, you'd probably one long, two short, or yeah. whatever. You know, yeah. there'd be some code. But, yeah. That, because uh, we used to hunt that telephone line way to hell and gone. Oh, really? Yeah, down the... I didn't know that. Went down the... Uh, where Package Camp was on, on Lobster. That way down past that. So, would this be power or would this be telephone or telegraph? I would 
Rogers? I would say it would be telephone. Telephone? Yeah. I don't believe they ran a power line. No. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't run a power line. And to think back 120 years ago with these guys running this line and keeping it free and free of the moose and other trees. Yeah, falling down on it. For them to think for one second that you could just pick up the phone in your pocket and make a call. I know. <laughs> they think you're from a different planet. Mm -hmm. Look what we found. An old, holy cow. An old axle of Solid. some sort. Solid axle. All solid metal. Wow. Probably a whole wagon of some sort. Yeah. So the camp was here. It's somewhere in this area. Well, this is the base of the old cast iron wood stove. They had a cook stove too. Quite something. We found a really cool piece of driftwood, so we picked it up. <laughs> And bring it home. We'll do something with it. Maybe we'll use it in a cabin build or something. Pretty cool. Nine inches. I think it was eight yesterday. Yeah. So it's still going down. Got him? Salmon. Salmon noise. Big salmon. Oh! <laughs> oh, he just come on! Oh, he got off! <laughs> that was awesome. Do you see that? Yeah. First cast with that old lure. That was like 18, 19 incher. Wow. Awesome. I was horsing him. What you got going here? Well, I'm cooking up some uh, partridge and fish, and I uh, chopped up a little garlic with butter and vegetable oil. So I'll just let that uh, heat up. I've had it warm and uh, take a second to heat up, and then I'm going to put these in. I'm going to cook the partridge in the same fry pan because we're limited on yes, I'm going to let that cook nobody here is too proud to eat partridge out of a no. salmon pan no not at all we got some potato all cooked in here beans coming I'll let these cook just a little longer till the bone falls out Big day tomorrow. What's the plan tomorrow? Well, I guess we're gonna go searching for, for an anchor. Yeah, I think we can find it.
Yeah, we only catch fish that'll fit in the fry pan. Yeah. Anything any bigger can't yeah. cook it. Right. Don't sass the cook, or you'll be in big trouble. Then you gotta cook. That's right. You want some of this garlic? Yeah. yeah. Perfect, thank you. Now, there's the grouse. Just don't let them touch the potatoes. <laughs> oh, gee! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are so finicky up here. I can remember, yeah, kids. Yeah, <laughs> if they... If don't let them touch! No, do not talk. let them touch or I won't eat them. Oh, man. You're going to bed without dinner. Donnie, it looks like you've outdone yourself again in your culinary arts. Well, hey, thanks to you, we got supper. Got well, a partridge. I'm good for something. Fish and man, this is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that's good stuff. That was a backup. That's good stuff. Yeah. I know that's what my whole ice fishing tub's backed up with that and Demi Moore. <laughs> Beef stew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, you can't ever go wrong. If you ever see me eating ramen during ramen noodles during ice fishing season, then we got troubles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting full. Yeah, that was a pretty good feed. And a small potato. You like more potato. I've had worse meals. Mm -hmm. Last night. <laughs> <laughs> Last night was awesome. That was a good meal. Yeah. That's not something you get all the time. Right. We got the dishwater going over here. I wanted you to try this. This is given to me by Gary up on Campobello Island, and he loves it. And it's called Dults. And it's, I believe, from the Kelp family. And it comes from Grand Manan Island in New Brunswick. <coughs> and they harvest it and they dry it. You want me to eat some weeds from the ocean? Yeah. I just want you to try it. I, you may not like it. But... You gonna eat some? Mm -hmm. You like it? I don't particularly like it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell you got me eating it for? <laughs> but you know, you try different stuff. It's... It chews up, you know, you get it moist, and you got that salty taste, but there isn't a whole lot of taste to it other than... Oh, it's got some taste. And it's got a lot of iodine in it, he said. Huh. And I, you know, iron. But it's a big, big thing up on the island. Hmm. Well, I've eaten worse. Yeah. Pretty freaking salty. Yeah, it is. Wouldn't be bad in a hiking pack. Yeah, for a hunting pack. Right. Take a bite of that. Taste yeah. it all day. Yeah. Look at that moon down the river, Donnie. What is it? Half a moon down the river. Oh, really? It's beautiful. First night we've seen it. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. It's got a haze around it. Like yeah. a purple haze. 